YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So Nipsey Hussle came out and said that he sold 60 copies of that $1,000 mixtape that he dropped, man. Hey, you know, big props to that man. Like, he honestly got more money off of this free mixtape than most rappers in the game off their mass-promoted fucking albums. A lot of people saying that the people who paid $1,000 for the suckers, but really, they did get some extra shit to be paying that thousand. Like, they was actually able to give some thoughts directly to Nipsey Hussle, and he actually listened to that shit. So I ain't mad at anybody who had the money to do the shit, man. I mean, and this is just another genius marketing ploy here that Nipsey Hussle did. Hopefully, the next one won't be more. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that cars, West Side Poppin'. And you know what, man? This project here is not that bad. Now this is the first song that I've heard from Kaz since he dropped his album back in early October-ish, man. In which it kind of makes sense that he took only like a 3-4 month high hiatus because one, he's not that big to be taking like a long extended one like a lot of top artists do. Two, I'm sure he wasn't like on a tour or anything because when you drop close to October and such, there's really not much touring that's going on as it begins to get cold. He probably went straight into high hiatus and now he's just back ready to fucking walk. And what I'm looking for out of Kaz, man, is growth. Because his first album, it wasn't that bad, man. He's actually a pretty solid artist, man, but he definitely needs to polish some things as far as his flow, as far as his lyrics, as far as a lot of his basics. And sadly, this one song here isn't showing any growth, you dig? But you know, growth, you really can't determine that just off of one song alone. You got to see that on a bunch of songs together to notice anything. Now, there are some aspects about the song that I did like, man. Like, it's a feel-good type track that... Honestly, you see this type of track come out more in the springtime, but it's never a bad time to release any feel-good music. I enjoy the beat, man. His looks and flow definitely could have been much better on it, but it doesn't, like, take away from the track. It's actually kind of solid still. It's a track I definitely recommend people to go ahead and peep on now. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about fucking mode, because this is something that I've noticed about myself. I get to a point where I just be like, you know what? Fuck it. When it comes to maintaining relationships with people, man, actually trying to be out and about with others and trying to establish contact, I call it fucking mode because I honestly just don't care enough to establish any communication with anybody. I'm more focused in my zone trying to propel myself to where I need to be. And I'm honestly thinking that this is something that's just me because I see too many people out here just dependent on women and people co-signing them on what the things they should be doing anyway. Like people more concerned about shining than actually doing the work in order to shine type shit. And it kills me because if you're too focused on what other people are thinking about you or having established relationships with people that's really not doing much for you, then when you're trying to do something in the music game, you're going to be more focused on that shit than you actually propelling yourself to the lengths that you really desire to go. Sometimes you just got to go straight up, fuck it. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I'm grinding all the way till I feel satisfied. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.